it is. It's just as hard. This is Cantankerous. She had a little baby girl. We've run into a problem. She's not making any milk. It is, it's just as hard as it can be. She's got mastitis. Adorable. Neat. And I'm sure my goodness, awful wiggly. I know. You're not happy about all this. So yeah, is she it. She ain't got a drop of milk. Aww. She's just as hard as she can be, too. Like, hard problem hard or hard empty hard? Hard problem hard. You had a pretty baby, though. Look at that adorable little spotty baby that's coming home with me. Yeah, he's coming home with me. <laughs> you trying to find This right here, Hidden Well Farmers, is Fish. Her mama's name is Cantankerous, and so we named her Fish Tank. She was delivered yesterday, and we got the bad news uh, this morning that she was hungry. Her mom, Cantankerous, is not making any milk at all. Her udder is hard, but it's not producing a drop of milk. None. So, we colostral tube fed her today. That's kind of made that up, colostral. <laughs> tube fed her with colostrum. We tube fed her with colostrum. Colostrum. <laughs> Now I'm getting tons of Yes, you are. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> Sorry, did I scare you? we've treated mom with some oxytocin and a few other anti-inflammatories, but she's still not making any milk and baby's hungry. She's, uh, she's lost weight since she was born and she's really empty. So we have ourselves another bottle baby that we're going to have to train up to go with the three that we have right now. Welcome to the family, Fish. I know it's a hard way to get started, but we'll take good care of you. Miss Susan is really good at ba bottle babies. <laughs>
Now this is Whiplash. In case you forgot who Whiplash was, he was the orphan bottle baby that was given to us. And today he weighs 22 and a half pounds. This is Minimum. Minimum was one of the quads that uh, we had to pull off of Mama. 17 pounds. Minimum, look at you're growing. Now this is fish. Fish is just like four days old. Her mama was cantankerous, and we named her fish tank. 9.21 pounds. She's 9.2 pounds. Fish, and her mama is not making any milk whatsoever. But she has taken to the bucket very, very well. And this is Rush Limbaugh, who we just found out in the field. He was just there. Rush Limbaugh is 9.8 pounds. Come on, Rush. Really? All of you on the same side? So we've been out here doing chores uh, on this beautiful last Saturday of February. Shoo. In the flood, what a difference a week makes. Last week we had ice storms, this week we have a flood. But hey, that's winter in Kentucky for you.
Um, Winter slash spring. Uh, <laughs> we have the four uh, bottle babies now. Uh, all of them have a different history, but uh, they're they're thriving and they're doing really well, and uh, and they're having a blast. We gave them a bale of hay to just jump up and off and around on, and they're just tearing it up. They're loving every minute of it, having a good time. Um, as far as the chores go, I mean, spring is right around the corner. We've already got uh, turkeys that are laying some eggs. Go get the turkey eggs. He went to go get turkey eggs. So we already have some of our first turkey eggs. Oh, that one's cracked. Got a hole in it. Eat it. No, don't really. <laughs> no. I know you would. <laughs> <clears throat> so we're excited for spring uh, to come around. Um, our lambing season is just about over. We have maybe five left to go, and um, I'm not sure all of them that are left are even pregnant. We're going to have a big work day right now. We've got it scheduled for March the 17th. Uh, we've got a big weaning as well as uh, we're gonna separate out some of our ewes that uh, freshened all the way back in November and December. They're gonna get into a breeding pen with Yaga. Freshened means? They had their babies. Yep, freshened means they had their babies. That's an old fashioned term. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much it uh, this week from Hidden Well Farms. Uh, Hope you enjoyed doing chores with us. You got anything new you'd like to add? New? We're no. gonna finish up our perimeter fencing and we're getting ready to build some uh, hay sheds uh, for this upcoming year. We're gonna do uh, some smaller, more utilizable sheds for each one of the pastures that we can store hay in. And when it doesn't have hay in it, we Baby. can use it for other purposes. But we've got plans to um, to add a barn to our, uh, we're doing research on that, to add a barn to our farm. So stick around. We'll take you on that journey with us, okay? I did check um, where we had tried to use some Sharpie in Whiplash's ear, and it is still there. It's not really legible anymore, but it is still there. Um, today I took some green food coloring mixed with some water and I put a big C on Cranky's left hip and I put a big C on Grumpy's left hip so that when they get released into the field we can tell that those are who they are. We'll see how long that lasts. We're trying some different marking methods for the white sheep. The spotted ones aren't so bad but all we have a lot of white sheep and they're really hard to tell apart. Yeah, okay. All right, well, Hidwell Farms, you have a good evening and we'll see you next time.